Hello guys, JP here, doing another video for you guys. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comments how your day's been and tell me something about your beautiful face. I love hearing from you guys. In today's top five, we're going to be looking at 10 of the most unique and rare animals what actually live in the UK today. There's over 70,000 species of animals, plants, fungi, and single cell organisms living in the UK today. Some are more common like rabbits, foxes, deers, and gray squirrels. And on today's list, we'll be taking a look at some of the rare and unique wildlife here in our own backyards. Sit back, get your popcorn and enjoy today's video. But before we get into today's top 10 list, please make sure you hit the bell icon, give us a subscribe and give us a like. It really does help this channel grow. And looking at YouTube, it looks like only 4% of our viewers are actually subscribed. So let's see if we can get this up a bit more, guys. That will really help us all. With all that said, let's kick off today's list with number 10 on the list, which is the UK's only venomous snake, and that goes to the other. There is actually three native snakes in the UK today and one non-native, but the adder is the only venomous snake in the UK. They have a greyish body with a dark zigzag pattern going right down their back, and they will grow between 60 to 80 centimetres. Taking a bite from an adder is very rare and the truth is they're shy and hard to find in the wild. They live out in bushlands and places like that out of the way of humans and getting in contact with them is very rare. The last death on record in Britain from an adder bite was 52 years ago where a five year old was bitten on the ankle and died. From 1950 to 1972 there was only one death from an adabite and there were 61 deaths from bees and wasp stings so to die from an adabite is really rare yes they are venomous and yes you shouldn't be touching them but to die from them is very very rare let's get to number nine on the list which is number nine on the list has got to go to the red squirrel red squirrels are rarely seen in the uk and there's only about 140,000 red squirrels left in the uk with 75% of the population being in Scotland. The big reason that they are going extinct and a lot rarer to see nowadays is because of the invasive species of the grey squirrel, what was introduced from North America. The grey squirrels are a lot bigger and a lot stronger and they're taking over the environment, food and just being very dominant. Red squirrels only get between 19 and 23 centimetres head and body and the tail is 15 to 20 centimeters that makes them a lot lot smaller and a lot weaker than the gray squirrels number eight on their list is dolphins when you think of swimming with dolphins you think of a tropical island abroad somewhere but the truth be told we have dolphins right here in our own backyard there is three types of dolphins in the uk and that is the bottle nose the white stride and the common dolphin. The bottlenose is the UK's largest dolphin, growing to about four meters in length. These can be seen all over the UK when the weather gets a bit warmer, but they are at risk of hunting from fishermen and overfishing of their food, which sucks. Number seven on the list are otters. European otters are one of the most cutest things you'll ever see but the truth be told between 1950 and 1960s there was pretty much extinct in the UK but after reproducing them and re-adding them to the wild it looks like numbers are going back up and you can see them pretty much all over the UK you are likely to see them in wet lands around the UK and around the rivers and there should be about 10,300 otters left in the UK with 7,950 living in Scotland, 1,600 living in England and only 750 left in Wales. So they are getting the numbers back up. But the European otter only grows between 95 to 130 centimetres and that includes a tail. So they're only a small mammal. The big reason that they went extinct, well, nearly went extinct in the wild, 
1950 to 1960s was down to pollution of the water, overhunting and habitat loss. With that said, let's get to number six on the list, which is... Number six has got to go to scorpions. Did you know that there is wild scorpion in the UK? If you go down Kent's north coast, you will see a big colony of yellow-tailed scorpions. There is thought to be about 15,000 yellow-tailed scorpions living there. They get the common name from obviously the yellow and brownish legs and stinger, and they have big claws and a thin stinger. They are very rare to see and not seen all over the UK. They're only seen in set areas of the UK. And the truth is, it'd be really, really rare to see these gorgeous scorpions. Number five on the list has got to go to the golden eagle. Golden eagles are at the top of the food chain. They are a powerful hunter and they can be found in the remote areas of the highlands in Scotland. They are one of the most breathtaking raptors you'll see in the UK and they get a wingspan of 1.8 to 2.3 meters and the talons are two inches long. These are a phenomenal hunter and a beautiful bird of prey. There's only about 50,000 golden eagles left in the world today so they are very endangered. Number four on the list, the Scottish wildcat. Scottish wildcats are close to extinction. There's only 30 left in the highlands of Scotland. The Scottish wildcats are having a lot of problems from hunting and actually domestic cats are breeding with them and messing up the genes as well. There is a lot of work from Edinburgh Zoo and the Highland Wildlife Park to breed, full breed Scottish wildcats and to try to introduce them into the wild. They get to about 98 centimetres and weigh over te uh, eight kilograms. But another one, the big, like I say, another one of the big reasons why they're going extinct is from domestic cats breeding them across and contaminating their genes. A lot of hunting and loss of habitats as well. Number three on the list I've got to go to the turtle dove. Once one of the most common doves in the UK, the turtle doves have declined by 97% since 1970. They are now on the red list for endangered species. A big risk to the doves is cats and hunting and there's only about a thousand breeding pairs left in the UK today. Number two on the list is the lesser spotted woodpecker. There is actually only 2,000 pairs left in the UK and over the past 50 years they've fallen by 83%. They can be found in woodland habitats up in trees looking for beetle larva and moths inside the trees. They are known to make big holes in the trees by pecking them to find the larva. There was actually four species of woodpecker in the UK at one point, with three of them actually going fully extinct. The lesser spotted woodpecker were one of the rarest birds in the UK and they really are quite hard to find. These are a beautiful big bird, but really do need our help to keep them going. Before we get onto number one on the list, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a like. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you would like our next top 10 list to be. I really do want to hear from you guys. I love hearing from you gorgeous people. It could be any sort of top 10 you like. With that said, let's get to number one on the list. And number one on the list is... Number one, I've got to go to the sand lizard. Did you know that the UK is actually home to six native species of reptiles and several non-native species? The sand lizard is only a small lizard what can be found in areas like Surrey and Dorset. They do like a sandy habitat. That's where obviously to get the common name from. They can grow to about 20 centimetres and weigh 15 grams. The reason that they're under pressure and endangered is due to habitat loss, hunting of non-native species killing them and also domestic animals like cats are actually hunting them so they're under a lot of pressure they are now protected under the uk wildlife protection due to how rare they are and how endangered they are they are a beautiful little lizard and it would be a shame to see these gorgeous animals go extinct we can do our part to keep these going by putting uh, metal down and place for them to hide in our gardens and just basically make sure our animals don't hunt them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit the like button, give us a subscribe, hit the bell, and check one of the videos what is 
floating around now. This is one of the videos what YouTube thinks you might like. This is our playlist. This is some more top 10 lists. Subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.